I was in army for 547 days, and I want to tell you a few stories from there about corruption, violence and suicides. Nevertheless, before we started, I have to make a few notes. First one, it was long, long time ago, approximately 10 years ago. Secondary, I don't support war in Ukraine. That is insane. The third one, it was compulsory military service, so it wasn't my choice. I can't deny that, I didn't want to be there. Note number four, I was born in Belarus, so I was in Belarusian army, but for that period of time, it was pretty the same armies, so there is no big difference between them for that period. And the last one, all stories are fictional, I just imagined it. Nice, so let's go to the story. Chapter 1. Corruption. When you have to join the army, you must be given everything what you need for military service. Everything. Uniforms, shoes, sieving needles, soap, toothbrush, even socks. Fully pack of the soldier. And there was an officer who had to give us all these kind of items. You can try to predict what happened next and write a comment about it before you will hear the story. So, approximately 50 guys uh, were staying in a long corridor, just one by one, waiting for an officer who is giving us this kind of items. 20 minutes passed in complete silence. When he finished, all of us had a bunch of things near our feet. He took the document and started to talk. Soldiers, I give you everything what you need for your service and everything what I should give to you. And right now I will name you all the items what I gave to us and amount of these items. Do you understand? Okay, let's go. And he started to read. At the same moment we look at the items and try to compare what he said with the real items what are laying on the ground. One toothbrush. Everyone have? Yes, sir. Threads and needles. Hmm. You don't need it for each personally. You can take it from the special room when you need it. Everyone understand? Hmm. Something strange started to happen, I thought. We will have to sign the document that he gave us all these items. But he didn't. Everyone understand? He started to scream because of our silence. Yes, sir. We didn't have any choice, actually. And he went through entire list of items, explained us every item, what he didn't give to us, for what reason he will not give it to us. Some of them was logical, another one was hilarious and absurd. We've come to terms with it. However, the last straw wore socks. I will explain you right now. He began in his usual manner. I gave each of you 12 pairs of socks. Everyone have? He gave us only 3 pairs. He gave us 3 pairs of socks for 18 months of military service. This greedy piece of shit still 9 pairs of socks from each of us. No, we answered. We have only 3 pairs. Officer soldiers. He started to scream and again. He was angry. I give you 12 pairs of socks to each. Do you understand? I already understood what happened. He still our items. So I was quiet just thinking how to how to buy socks here inside this base. But some guys tried to find the truth. Sir, you give me only 3 pairs. The officer started to look insane in a moment. Soldier, I give you 12 pairs of socks. Do you understand? He was screaming in his face. He stayed like so close to his face and screaming in it. But soldier, I give you 12 pairs of socks. Do you understand? Just repeat it more loudly to his face. They were so close. Then they can drill and kiss each other. Yes, sir. The guy just lose this fight. And that's okay. Okay, sign here that I gave you everything what I had to give to you. So, this greedy piece of shit stole nine pairs of socks from each of us. Approximately 500 pairs of socks. The conclusion of the story. This officer is stealing 1000 pairs of socks each year from the army, just one officer, and we count just socks. Just imagine how deep corruption is going. And the second short story about corruption. There was an officer who wearing new army t-shirts every week. And once we asked him from where he took it, his answer explained everything. In 1995, I managed the storage with the uniform here. Just imagine, this guy stole so many uniforms that after 20 years, for every week, he can wear new army t-shirts. Every week. I counted. It approximately 1000 weeks, Carl. Chapter 2. Violence. I wanna be honest with you guys. Violence in the army wasn't as prevalent 
as people always believe. Just repeat, it was before the war started, 10 years before. All right. But we knew the case. From the other military base, one guy was found it hanged with the bruises on his body. But the commission said that it was a suicide. Who knows? In our case, physical exercises were the worst punishment. All right. 50 push-ups was the base. If anything, anything was an excellent, you have to do 50 push-ups. Moreover, it can happen a lot of time per day. In the end of the day, you can really do 200, 300 or time to time 400 push-ups per day. The same happened with the squats. And the worst one was think what was called jambavati. I don't know how to explain that. So just better to show. You have to jump from one foot to the other one while in a sitting position. You can try to do it just for a minute to understand what is that. That is so hard. That is so hard. I don't know why is it so hard, but it is what it is. There were many gym punishments and I named just a few of them. And try to believe me, sometimes it's just easier to get hit than that. But of course we had a physical punishment too. For example, you could be hit on a finger by the lighter it's painful. If your uh, nails didn't cut properly, if your flask of water didn't full of water, you could get hit in the kidney. Yeah. And yes, all of us had a flask of water, but it was abandoned to drink from it. It had to be fully with water. Army don't have any logic. Being hit in the neck if you poorly shaved. If you want to know more, let me know in the comment. Maybe I will make another video about that. I have a lot of what to tell. So let's go to the chapter 3. Chapter 3. He finished his service early. I know a couple of cases besides what I described earlier. This is one of them. One guy had a girlfriend. And you know, after some period of time, something was going wrong in their relationship. Then someone said to him that she started to cheat on him, that uh, she had a new boyfriend and uh, it happened, of course, while he was in the army. And then he was on a duty, he just uh, pulled the bullet in his own head. We all had weapons on duty, so it was possible to do so. This guy was approximately 22 years old. And fellas, just uh, my advice, this is not an option. Uh, if you mentally struggle, go to psychologist. You can find some help. Just don't do that. That is not okay. And the second one, uh, if something cheating on you, it's not the end of the world. So you can just continue living. That's unpleasant. But it happened not because you was a bad person, but because of your partner who thought that it's possible scenario in your relationship. You're not a problem here. The problem is the partner. Then people don't talk about problems, but choose to lie and to cheat. It's talked a lot about this person. Just my opinion. So I have a lot of stories what I want to tell to you. But I'm not sure that you want to listen. So let me know in the comments. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you for watching me. This is my video. And see you later. Bye.